Hey guys, Nick here for Rev3 Games, and today I'm joined by Tom Lee, who is a creative director over at Team Ninja. And we're gonna be checking out some of Dead or Alive 5 uh, last, last round. Correct. That's the subtitle. Uh, so this is not the first uh, Dead or Alive 5 re-release that we've seen, but this is the first Dead or Alive game to appear on next-gen consoles. Yes. Uh, and I guess we can hop right into it and see what some of the changes are, but what are the like main things that people should expect from, uh, from this installment? Yeah, so this is the actually the third iteration of DOA 5, mm -hmm. and we launched DOA 5 back in 2012, and we followed that up with DOA 5 uh, plus on the Vita, mm -hmm. and then um, DOA 5 Ultimate, which is currently playing, and then last round is basically the culmination of all of those iterations and added content mm -hmm. in, in a nice package. Yeah, and I think the name yeah. alludes to the, the finality of it, like it this is. is the last yeah. package. For our for fans, that. definitely. It's, cool. This is the final version. Awesome. Well, let's, uh, let's hop right into it. Oh, nice. Oh, I forgot about the, the get-up moves in, in Doha. Yes. That was always a... Yes. Each character has their own sort of unique wake-up kicks or yeah, get-up moves. And depending on what part of the stage you are, for instance, mm -hmm. if you were to attack me here, I can get thrown off. Oh, jeez, yeah. And I can hold that ledge if I paid attention. Oh, you can, so you can I recover can hold, from those. Yes, and then I can, you can try to attack me, and I can guess what you're going to come at me with. And if I guess right, then I won't have damage. If I guess mm -hmm. wrong, then it, it'll be very bad for me. I feel like in, when you think about Dead or Alive uh, and the way it compares to other fighting games, it's sort of oh, nice. referred to as like, I think, rock, paper, scissors style combat is yes, the we, combination of throws or punches and, and kicks, right? Absolutely. We're based on a triangle system, which we're known for. So basically, there's three ways you can do damage to a player, which mm -hmm. is strikes, uh, throws, and holds. And uh, just like rock, paper, scissors, uh, strikes are stronger than um, uh, throws. Mm -hmm. Throws are stronger than holds. Holds are stronger than strikes. Gotcha. So, um, so uh, yeah, let's, let's see what the other uh, new yeah. stage is. Danger um, Zone. Danger Zone. Yeah. And we're bringing this back from DOA 2, actually. Yeah, I remember that. I remember, because yeah. I had Dead or Alive 2 Hardcore uh, okay. in my youth, and I remember this. It's this a completely reimagined version of mm. Danger Zone. And as you know, those blue areas of the stage are very interactive so if i were to hit you and you land on that it's explosive it causes more damage gotcha there we go oh look at that nice but there's no there's no this is not a level where i can knock you off of it you right? can you absolutely oh really absolutely can jeez So what happens when we land in the uh, the green area? Oh, yikes. The green area is a safe zone. It's like regular. Gotcha, but there's no safe zone on this on this place. No, this this too. entire area is. And I, I actually might just stick with these Halloween costumes for the duration of my run, because look at this. It's, so I've got a, I'm playing as Ryu. <laughs> with, uh, with a zombie on your back. Yeah, at least one. I think there's multiples. So since you're including uh, Hundred, like over 300 costumes, how does that affect your DLC plans for this game? Well, we definitely will continue with new, brand new DLC content for last round, but for players that have purchased DLC in the mm -hmm. past, uh, it's fully transferable, so gotcha. there won't be any worries on that. Okay. Nice. All that muscle memory is coming back to Maybe. You. <laughs> I feel like you might be giving me a little bit of an easier time. No, you're holding yourself pretty good. Nice. So I think you guys have actually experimented in the past with the uh, free-to-play model for, for the Dead or Alive games. And so this, is a, this clearly is like a premium uh, package that you pay for, but I'm wondering like, Yes. You guys have plans to re-examine that for next gen at all? Absolutely. We are committed for our core fighters program, which is the free to play. Mm -hmm. And we're pretty proud of the fact that when we launched um, core fighters with Dead or Alive Ultimate, we actually had over a million subscribers. Jeez. So it's a successful program. We intend on moving forward with that with last round as well. Cool. Alrighty, we are both playing as nurses. Yes. <laughs> what is, um, what's the narrative justification for these nurse outfits? How do we, like... 
Um, there's not a whole lot of backstory <laughs> for these things. Um, right. It's. I kind of assumed that from Zach's uh, yeah. haunted Halloween costume. Definitely more of just an aesthetic thing. Yeah. Jesus, trampoline back here. Sure. Ah. Nice. Can't remember how to do uh, some of these like teleport stuff. Oh, you let it go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, is that what I'm doing? Uh, like when I press, all right, yes. got it. So in terms of the story mode stuff, is it pretty much uh, what we saw in um, Doha 5 and in the Vita one? Yes. Story mode right. stays the same. There's um, several more sort of winning poses for tag mode. Um, but pretty much the package stays the same as Doha 5 Ultimate, with the addition of two new stages and two new characters as well. This Brad Wong costume that I found here is, uh, he's sort of a wolfman vibe yeah. going on for sure. Oh, nice. And we are fighting today on Zack Island. Oh. That's a really cheap one. You can just hold down the block button to okay. defend yourself against that. Nice. I like that uh, in Doha 5, Brad Wong's back step is just like this sake sipping move that he does. Ah. Nice. Oh jeez. Oh. Probably the closest one yet. Is she literally flying, huh? Yes. So I'm not I'm not really familiar with, with Neo Tengu as a character. How how come she's flying? <laughs> So she's uh, based on a character called Tengu. Uh, oh, he last right. appeared on DOA Dimensions okay. on uh, 3DS. And uh, Tengu is sort of a monstrous gargoyle-like creature from Japanese folklore. Mm -hmm. um, we just decided to bring him back as a female interpretation right. of, of that monster. We've got some of the iconic Tengu traits, like the wooden shoes and yes, everything. Yes, yes, yes. She always wear that mask? Uh, no, uh, this is just a option for you to gotcha. put on. Yeah. So this is also very interactive, uh, two-tiered stage. Cool. And, and for uh, for our last round, I'm going to be playing as the Kasumi clone from Dota yep. Two. Nice. Was she also in in three? I feel like there was like she a was. final boss battle or something. She was a final boss in Dota Two, if I remember right. But then, yes, she appeared in three. Nice. Oh jeez. <laughs> so try kicking me off this okay. ledge. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's line it up. Oh, we're both waltzing here. Oh, okay, I gotta do a kick. Oh, that thing moved out of the way. All right. Now the stage comes alive. Things start moving. Oh jeez, we're falling. Yes. Yeah. It's. <laughs> yeah. And here it goes. Oh man. Grab. I feel like I've seen this. Yeah. Yeah. This one. And then I could. I just blocked your move. I so you took correctly. less damage from that yes, uh, transition. Yes, because I guessed normal. correctly. Nice. Yeah. You had a friend in high school who was a big Jan Lee player. And he was also way better than me, so... <laughs> this feels familiar. Nice. Whew, jeez. Nice. I'm just going to spam so that, actually. Damage. A lot of, lot of competitive players at one point were asking us to nerf Alpha because she was way too really? powerful. Really? Yeah. But... I'm just going to spam this move all day, sorry. <laughs> Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> nice, nice. <clears throat> Sweet. Great. Cool. Well, thank you for uh, for coming in and giving us a look at uh, Dead or Alive 5 last round. Which uh, Do you guys have a release date that you've announced yet? We do. February 17th, cool. 2015. Awesome. And the platforms are? Are last gen mm -hmm. on PS3 and 360, okay. as well as this current gen on PS4 and Xbox One. Cool. Well, Tom, thank you so much for, you so for much, talking Zach. to me. And yeah, thank you guys Appreciate for watching. It. We'll see you next time. Well, I was really
only the PS1 at the time, mm -hmm. and the thing was, in order to get my PS1, I had to sell my N64. Oh man. So my mom's like, you can only have one at a time. You can't have everything. That's a like, bummer. All right, so I sold my N64 with all the games, and then I got the PS1 instead. That's funny. So, yeah, I was playing a lot of like Bust and Move 2 and. It's basically.